Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 16 of the Abandoned Kids Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we are planning on having a birthday in this part because our little Sylvia has maxed all of her toddler skills, which is my was my goal before I aged her up. I am playing the rules, actually speaking of which, the rules for the Abandoned Kids Challenge are down below in the description, as well as a link to the actual uh, spot where it is on the forums and my tweaks to the challenge. The normal rules are that you have to uh, have the kids age up at their birthday to, no matter what lifespan you're on. I am playing on the long lifespan and what I have decided to do instead of that because I think long is too long. We got a masterpiece. Very good. That's just what she needs. What are her needs like and speaking of which she is a bit hungry so I'm gonna have her have a bit to eat. Uh, and I have Brian working on his whiz kid aspiration and uh, sorry so what I had done to tweak the rules which I have said before if you've seen it sorry for the repetition is that uh, I have certain goals that I need to meet before they can age up and I also you know am looking that they do stay the age they need to be that would be a normal lifespan at a minimum but uh, I just wanted a little bit more time than what the uh, normal lifespan gave to make sure I got the goals I wanted and that's what I'm going but Eric is two days sim days younger than Sylvia so he will always have to wait two days at a minimum before he can age up even if he has met the goals which he hasn't yet anyways he is still working on them because he was a baby two days longer than our little um, Sylvia was so what I'm going to do is I'm planning on editing the house after this part and putting that up as a speed build it'll uh, go up after this part also today on Friday because this part will be going up on Friday that is my goal and um, but for this part I'm planning a social event for her birthday what does she want to buy she wants to buy a wash tub hmm yeah maybe oh Brian completed his aspiration so I'm gonna try and do a toddler play date because if you actually get a gold on a toddler play date you get the big tunnel thing and it makes it last time I got it as a reward I think it was like 5,000 simoleons which would be a really good um, thing for it to do when our uh, we do have toddlers because they're next door I moved them in next door um, for when we need to do up, upgrade our house and of course we're just gonna have it here because we need to make a cake as much as this is a toddler play date I am planning on having us uh, age up oh I'm gonna bake a cake I meant to buy the stove so let me go into build mode and uh, I'm not going to really fix this up very much I'm just gonna get the stove that is going to be the stove that I will use in the final part in the build itself but this isn't uh, going there so we will just um, don't worry about that because we I am planning on let me go cook make a chocolate cake I'm just gonna swap because hopefully that will turn out excellent so I'm gonna put her over onto the food aspiration so um, so hopefully the guests so I put them in there so are they gonna come or is it not oh there they are I actually did try this before and uh, the neighbors were teen with the uh, siblings the toddler siblings it was just my own abandoned child let's play but they have a house but it didn't they didn't come so I think uh, a teen won't count as a caregiver so I had to add a parent to the household so I'm like redoing this that's why I knew that this calendar wasn't gonna be the automatic <laughs> size <laughs> that I wanted it to be but uh, luckily they came this time because there was no chance we were gonna get a, a gold uh, if we didn't have the guests come because we couldn't socialize with them so we're going to call to meal because we need to have sims eat food and much as we're going to do the cake oh let me check on our little uh, Eric <laughs> Oh, he has to go potty maybe you should go potty I had set him up I know to do the and then he can come does is he even hungry yeah he can eat he's a bit hungry so you can grab a serving and we have uh, we do have a sim dancing oh no he wasn't dancing it was because he worked out <laughs> we'll put that in the garbage or try to where'd he go there we go there we go so 
Oh, I want you to add, I'm gonna pause, because I wanna make sure, can you add the birthday candles there? You can, I wasn't sure, because it was on, sometimes I do place them places where they can actually add the birthday candles, I have had them do that. And of course, she's not hungry at all, but he's hungry, you know what, you should go to the bathroom, and then grab a serving, because we need to have Sims eat food, which they need to finish eating the food, of course. How are you doing, Sylvia? Not actually really that hungry. But maybe when you get up, you can come dance. And... Oh, why are you... I think... I don't know, really know what was going on. You didn't finish your food. Oh, but we need to socialize, so why don't we socialize? Why don't we brighten day with our guests? Brighten day. We can do a friendly introduction because <laughs> we haven't met him because I went over and met the, the sibling, the teen sibling, but uh, didn't. Why is he sad? I wonder. Because I see we can mock. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, you can come back another time. We don't need you right now. So we have one person finished eating their food, but I see people eating, so hopefully that will... And she's embarrassed. Oh, from privacy? Why did you have a privacy violation? I knew, I saw her react like it was a privacy evaluation. Uh, can you do a friendly introduction, finally? Um, I saw her react like she had invaded his privacy, but I don't really understand because he was in the bathroom and she was over here. So I'm not sure what was happening with that, but let's make a little bit of money. And speaking of which, I think I've forgotten to look into these frogs because we need all the money we can get. I was thinking I can only build the main house, which I'm going to have some tweaks to the floor plan, <laughs> as I always do. Uh, but we'll see how much money we have, whether we can actually add the extra bedrooms on that are in a sort of a separate, you get to through the porch. So we still need people and we need to socialize. So let's, oh, wrong sim. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Can we, uh, describe aesthetics? So that's one thing I learned. If you uh, try and have a toddler playdate and the only person in the household is the oldest person's a teen, they don't seem to come over because they did not come over when that happened. So I don't have a lot of options here. I don't really want to tell a story because I would think that would take a long time. I'm going to get to know and brighten day. So I'm hoping she still wants to buy a wash tub. I'd kind of rather have a dryer, to a washing machine. And we're not going out in the city. Paint, I guess she can do that, even though I don't find them worth that much. Can we, uh, oh, we got the people eating. Good. Yay. So now we're going to go back and try and dance. You can wake up and come dance. Oh, is he dancing? Oh good, we have people dancing. And then we are going to help someone climb. Maybe we'll help Rachel, because maybe that will help our friendship with her. What was she doing dance video? Yes, they tend to do that. So let's put that in here. The leftovers. So now they can actually have hot food now that they have a stove. We have to play with a toddler. Can you do that? Can you play with your child so that we don't have to do it? That would be really helpful. Okay, forget this bright day. You seem to be stuck there, Amelia. Can you get unstuck? Because you're the one who has to do all of this. I don't know whether Brian can read to a toddler. No, it doesn't look like he can. Okay, we're going to unset you and hopefully we can actually get you to come and do that. Hopefully he'll come. Oh, right, because you, I don't know why you were waking him up. You didn't really need to. What's, is he going back to sleep? Why don't you come eat a bit before you go to sleep? There you go. Why don't you eat? Help a uh, toddler climb up the slide. And 
and let's see. <laughs> Cutie pie. They're so cute, the toddlers in the game. So did that work? Because it's not ticking off, even though we completed it. Why did that not work? How come that didn't work? I helped a toddler climb. Well, maybe we'll help Sylvia chat with Louie. It'd be helpful if you actually did some stuff. <laughs> I have had that. Oops. We uh, have a last exception. I noticed that happened right as this broke. So we're going to um, hire a repair service, even though she needs to work on that. That's not the time to do it. Okay. Why don't you read a toddler? Why don't you read whatever and you can read to both of them, well all of them, and hopefully that will register because I really 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 want a gold. We don't have very much time left. Sometimes, oh there that didn't, we didn't have to finish it. We have to talk to a toddler. So talk about day, okay you're gonna stop reading because we need to work. Friendly, get to know. <laughs> it was sad. <laughs> Talk about day. <laughs> that was cute. I saw the little hug going on there from Brian to his youngest brother. That was really cute. Bright and day. Oh, it's not going on. I don't know whether him talking was going to count. Probably it doesn't. She's got to do it all. And it didn't pick, didn't to register that toddler climbing up the slide that we did. Oh, wrong sim. Ah, yes, we got a gold. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Why are you tired? Okay, you never ate the food I asked you to eat. So go eat your sandwich. And then your sister, who is also hungry, but that's fine, you're going to come over here. And your your big sister is going to help you blow out the candles for Sylvia. That's who's going to blow them out. Okay, can we stop talking to people? We don't actually need to talk to them anymore. Because <laughs> we got that. And we got our gold. Yes. Excellent. However much it's worth, it'll be good. It just would be nice. It would be nice to actually age her up before the end of the party, but that is not essential. <laughs> the main thing is that we age her up. And let me put the walls up. There we go. Are you going to age her up? No. Is this it? Put down. It would be... Is it just not going to work where it is? Oh well. So the party's over. We got our gold. I'll put the walls into cutaway. And we'll just age her up afterwards. So Louis became good friends with Amelia. So word of this legendary playdate has started to spread. In fact, the fine folks in the marketing department at BAMCO, esteemed maker of toddler toys, has reached out with a special influencer opportunity. They provided their all-inclusive jungle gym set completely free of charge. You'll find that it's already been delivered to your household inventory. All they ask is a small, tiny little favor. Won't you please place it in your front yard and invite all the neighbors' tots over to play to help spread the good BAMCO name. So let's go in and see how much it's worth. Is it worth as much as I have? 5,000, it is actually. So it helps you with movement skill and imagination skill, and it does give them fun of three. But we need the money way more, and I don't even know that we have the space for it. Though there's probably a lot of land here that isn't being used, so it's probably all right. So um, I'm gonna move the cake over here, and, well, she can't die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to go and <laughs> Help blow out candles. We're going to try it again because that is my goal to try and age up our little Sylvia. So look at that. We got 23,749. So we may have enough money. What's going on? Do I have it on fast? He seems to, he was like going back and forth there, strangely. Oh, looks like it might work here. Didn't seem to work at the can, at the, even though it gave me the option. 
on the table. It didn't seem to be working. So let's get a go into tab mode and get a picture. I will hit play again. <laughs> so she is going to replace the clingy. So she did get level two, but this is actually level two, almost level three. If you get all five, it's, it's not, even though it shows as two, it does make a difference. I was just reading on the Carl Sim site. So she's going to complete all of the aspirations, of course, but we'll just give her creativity to start and we will make her creative like her sister. And she got gifts. <laughs> and you know what? Oh, I think I'm gonna have to change her hair. We are going to add some birthday candles back on the cake. So I'm gonna add birthday candles and then I'm going to take Sylvia. What's she doing? No, no, no. I don't want you to, why don't you get leftovers? I don't really want you eating cake. Can that cancel? Good. <laughs> so I am going to take her into uh, create a sim and edit her appearance and then show you what she looks like after I've done that. And then we will be done for this part, but stay tuned for the makeover. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me just go in. Let me look again at the frogs. I don't know if we can breed them again. We can. So I'm going to breed them. Oops. I don't know. I probably made the wrong one because I see two of another one, but oh well. <laughs> I was a bit quick. <laughs> they have a, a reasonable amount of money anyway, so I'm going to breed these frogs in their inventories and then... Yep. Sell them. Except for two. Do I have two outside? I don't. I'll leave them out right now. And there we go with um, those. So we have 27419, which is good. She did make that extra excellent meal. I am going to put it on to Fortune just to see where she is in terms of that. So she's earned 75,000. Okay, and but she doesn't have the 35,000 in reserve, so she'll be stuck back on that, but that's fine. I'm not going to hold on. We need our house now. I can't wait. Sometimes I do not spend the money until they get those parts of the aspirations done, but that's just not going to work right here. So I, uh, I'm going to let, I'll see you momentarily after I've given Sylvia a makeover and then uh, that will be it for this part. So here's our Sylvia as a child. I stuck with uh, some waves and a red bow and because her hair has the red bow and you can't choose that color, I decided to stick with a red for most of her outfits where I could at least. So that has a little red jacket on it. I gave her five every day. So a little red top with, I'm thinking a hamster or a gerbil or something. And uh, with faces, emoji faces it looks like, and then this one's from the City Living, a little short outfit, and then a little overall, which I think that one, if I click on it, maybe, oh, it's from Parenthood. She did get a couple of formal wear, not that I tend to find they use it very often, again with the red theme, and red shorts, long socks, and then a couple of just, uh, well, I guess another pair of shorts, and then sort of a pantsuit uh, with track pants. And then sleep, there's just a red tank and white bottoms because I didn't really see anything that matched well enough. Nice cute little red overalls and then red PJs. Those come from Parenthood. And then I gave her a couple of party wear outfits. That cute little one with the cats on it is from Cats and Dogs, as you'd probably expect. And I don't know, I just kept this top because I thought it was, you know, in keeping with the red theme with the red jacket. And this one's not so red, but it came up as supposedly red and I left the little kitty on it. So I stuck with that one. And then for swimwear, there actually isn't anything red in the one piece swimwear. I don't know that I saw anything come up. Yeah, there's these, but I don't, I don't actually, uh, yeah, I didn't bother with the bottom. So, but in the one piece, there's nothing red, but this at least had a little red flower on it to go with her bow. And then the second one, I just gave her pink. 
polka dots. But that is going to be it for this part. I am going to put the speed build of their house and I'm not sure at this point whether it's going to be the full thing or if it's just going to be the main house. It kind of depends on how the money goes in terms of when I'm building. So I guess we'll find out soon enough. So that will be up after this, probably about a half an hour. So by the time this is finished, it'll probably be up or very close to being up. Um, but they'll be living in it in the next part. But that is going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge Let's Plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!